How's it going, my fellow collectors? This is Link's Reviews, and I am Link, and today we'll be unboxing some Funko DC Pops. So let's get right to it. We've got uh, a version of Future State Wonder Woman. We're finishing the line for the Suicide Squad, and we've got Dark Side on the Throne. So let's get right to it, shall we? guys so we are starting off with the dc future states yara floor wonder woman funko pop now this is doing for a good cause so this is with a purpose so it's donating to uh children um basically the back says yara floor represents the present and future of dc universe in the main timeline timeline she's wonder girl learning to fight for justice and what she believes in and then in dc future state she emerges from the american rainforest as the new wonder woman to protect all of humankind from dangerous magic that threatens the planet. Uh, and then it, it goes along the lines of Andrea Bra Brasta Gomez is also a fighter who embracing a heroic calling for goal is to preserve the cultural heritage of indigenous communities in Chipaz, uh, Chipaz, Mexico, while supporting the young women to become fierce advocates for their rights like Yara. Andrea never thinks twice about doing what she believes in. Now, the purchase of this Funko Pop, this purchase helps Rivia support organizations like the Peace First, where young changemakers like Andrea are leading social change in their communities every day. So, good cause of support and added bonus of a cool Funko Pop. So, let's get it unboxed, shall we? Here's a close-up of the Pop Box, though. Pretty cool. Let's get it open. Ooh, I like her. It's like a bolo uh, a whip almost. She's got like the lasso of truth, but it's got like bolos on the end of them. All right, it comes the base, which is nice. Although, oh no, oh no, oh jeez. One second, guys. Seriously, I don't know why they like to do this. They overfill the peg hole paint, or they sometimes give the wrong. Come on, gently, 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 gently. All right, we got it, guys. We got it. All right, so here is Yara Floor Wonder Woman supporting a good cause and also an awesome Funko Pop. Super cool. Very nice. All right, so let's get a close up of the detail on this thing, shall we? Her suit looks awesome. I love the newer look. It's got a lot more gold on it than Wonder Woman does, and it really nicely contrasts with her costume. This is actually my first look at the Future State Wonder Woman of Yara Floor, so I've never seen it before. But it looks absolutely amazing. Again, I love, like, it's a combination of the Lasso and Bolo, but probably not the Lasso of Truth. Maybe it is. Maybe it's like a, a, a an alternate version or a different version. It just looks absolutely amazing. I don't see any paint defects. I also like like the retro tiara on her. It's like a big callback to the uh, the original Wonder Woman. It just looks super cool. Nice detail. Really cool. 10 out of 10 for this Funko Pop. Let me know in the comments down below if you've got this Funko Pop at all. I would love to know. Love to chat with you guys. All right, so the next up, we are finishing the line for the Suicide Squad. And it's definitely special, especially since this guy's getting his own TV show. I don't know if he deserves his own TV show. Maybe he becomes a better person. Maybe. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know too much about the show. Because I'm going to watch it. Because I don't think he deserves a TV show. But maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. So, this is number 1110, Pop Movie Suicide Squad Peacemaker. Yes, John Cena as the Peacemaker, is getting his own TV show if you've been living under the rock and you didn't know. So, looks pretty cool. Definitely in the motif of the Suicide Squad boxes. Let's get it open, shall we? I would have liked it if he had his gun in one of his hands. I can't believe he killed Rick Flagg. One of the most disappointing things in that movie, they killed Rick Flagg. I was so mad. 
I wanted this guy to die. And I also love how Bloodsport's bullet, because it was smaller, went into the other this guy's bullet and blew it up and then shot him in the neck and yet somehow survived. But whatever. Let's see how well he stands up because he does not come with a base. Alright, I am a bit worried about when I turn this because his head is a bit heavy. I also like it, uh, if you've seen the new trailer for Peacemaker, you see a, def a bunch of different versions of his helmet because he does have different versions. And I think, don't, I think they give like different abilities for each one. I can't remember. I don't remember all the lore for Peacemaker. It's been a while. He was never a character I was that interested in. Oh man. The suit uh, is way too bright. I feel like Peacemaker would look really good with a darker color suit, but I understand they wanted to keep it comedy accurate. But besides that, it looks really nice. I don't see any dimples or paint transfer or anything of the like. So I'm going to have to give it another 10 out of 10 for this Funko Pop. It's a pretty cool Funko Pop. Definitely glad that I finished the Suicide Squad line. So yeah, let me know also if you got this one. Alright, so next up, we have the big boy, the big bad, the great evil, the lord of apocalypse, the ruler of the apocalypse, one of the new gods, Darkseid, on his throne. Uh, pop number 1,128. This also finishes the line for my Just Zack Snyder's Justice League Funko Pop line. I do hope they bring back uh, or restore the Snyderverse, as they say. I do think the movie was kind of ruined by the overhype of it. I think they hyped it up too much. It didn't live up to that. It was still a great movie, but the hype of the movie was so grand that it just didn't live up to it. I still think it's good enough to get uh, its universe rebooted, but Warner Brothers and, or what, I think, is it, is it Warner Brothers? Yeah, it's Warner Brothers that owns the Justice League thing. I don't know if they're going to do it. Maybe. I mean, they are giving Peacemaker a show. They are giving the Flash's movie. So, hopefully they restore the Snyderverse, but let's open it, shall we? Alright, let's get this sucker open. Double-sided seal. Oh, he just looks so bad, and he still has like this... Oh, wait, no, no, he's just a rocky creature. I swear, his son looks... Oh, wait, no, his son is adopted. I forgot. His son is adopted. Oh, it's a nice lightweight base. I would have thought this would be heavier, almost like my um, Hulkbuster, because that Hulkbuster and um, my Basilisk Funko Pop are so heavy. But this is really, really light, so it must be hollow on the inside. Obviously, it stands up pretty well. It's got a pretty wide base, and it looks absolutely amazing. So here we have him on his throne, a lord of the apocalypse, dark side, his omega beams and his crouch thinking position, his sitting thinking position, just waiting for the next world, trying to find the anti-life equation. And it looks pretty cool. I don't see any defects on it so far. It looks very nice. The armor is nicely detailed. He literally looks like he's been carved from stone. Just looks absolutely amazing. So very, very cool. His throne looks good. Very lightweight. Dirty. Like, not dirty like it's supposed to be. It's painted dirty. But it, it just looks really cool. So another 10 out of 10. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. We're doing a giveaway now at 300 pops. Or 300 Funko or 300 subscribers. We're, at, we're pretty close. We're six away from the time I'm filming this. We'll be giving away this child with cup Funko Pop. I'll be doing a giveaway once we hit it. The goal was originally 500, but you know what? We did pretty good this year, so it's going to be down to 300. Next year will be 500. So, if you want a chance to win this Funko Pop, the child with cup from The Mandalorian Season 1, make sure to subscribe and share this video. And yeah, you can check out my Twitter. That's where I post uh, uh, quick looks uh, or sneak peeks uh, one to two days before I post a video. It also is the best way to know when I post videos because sometimes YouTube does not give you the notifications if you don't hit the notification bell and even if you do it doesn't always send it out. So that's it for this video guys. As always my fellow collectors have a nice day and peace out.